Excellent Natural Electoral Commission, INEC, has extended the period for opening and closing of polls from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. This revised closing time applies to all areas where polling units opened after the commencement, of, commencement period of 8.30 a.m. In line with the, existing, with the existing regulations and guidelines of the Commission, any intending voter who is on the queue by 4 p.m. shall be allowed to vote. All polling unit staff must comply with this directive. The extension of time out of, arose out of several field reports that voters had problems with accreditation. The Commission is currently investigating the reason for accreditation, the reason the accreditation device by modern voter accreditation system, VIVA, has worked perfectly in some poly units, but not in others. In some of the cases, it would seem that this resulted from software glitches. Our technicians have already built an update to the device software to prevent further challenges. The update is currently being installed in the concerned rivers, and we request voters, candidates, and agents to be patient and allow our technical staff to solve the problem. The Commission wishes to reiterate that in cases of sustained malfunction of the beavers, the presiding officer must inform the voters and polling agents that accreditation and voting for the affected polling unit shall continue tomorrow or at any another time. I have been of the opinion or suspicion that I neck will not be fair. That's the truth. Because they believe they were coming to impose a candidate on them. And when they came up with this new experiment, we can't really re substantiate, we can't generalize that INEC is not fair at this time. That is why they have to redeem that name. What they have to do is to speak to the people and take responsibility for the failure of, of the of the of beavers. Right? And then, like you said, during your uh, preliminary uh, opening of this section, INEC has to have a couple, a list of the areas where the team failed, okay. and then perhaps reschedule elections for tomorrow in those areas. Okay. Once that is done, then it has proven that there, there's nothing else to you. All right. I'm sure for them to for them to call us here, we are the headquarters of Isaac here in Alma Oka, and the um, journalists are seated here, the resident electoral commissioner, the national commissioners. They are seated here and they are about to begin with the press conference and we need to listen, we need to just pay attention because whatever is to announce here, it might have sort of fundamental impact on the exercise that was just concluded by uh, 2 p.m. So we are going to wait for the resident electoral commissioner, what he's going to say, we don't want to preempt him, but what people are saying is that some things went fundamentally wrong along the line and in some areas and they are calling for a kind of, that they were disenfranchised because of the beavers that was introduced. They weren't able to um, exercise their franchise, that they were effectively disenfranchised. And you know, before you have an option of filling the resident um, um, incident form and you vote. But this one, if you don't go through these beavers, they are going to be disenfranchised totally. And these people are not so happy with it that they've said, oh, these days they registered um, kind of low figures in town of governorship election and the people that came out today to exercise their franchise in the scorching sun, they are now saying no, 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 in some areas. We'll be able to identify those areas particularly and see what the independent national electoral commission will actually do about that. But this press conference is going to be crucial, as I told you earlier, and we're waiting for INEC. Okay, so over to the independent national electoral commission. <laughs> This is NBN Network.
network media news for all races connecting you to the world.